ันนี้ใครเจอใครวันนี้ถึงบอกว่าพิเศษมากๆมากๆมากๆจริงๆครับที่เมื่อกี้บอกว่าจะไปอิตาลีใช่ไหมครับหนึ่งคนเท่านั้นที่ได้ไปใช่ไหมเหมือนกันนักมวยก็จะมีหนึ่งคนเท่านั้นคู่แรกต้องมารอลุ้นกันเอาให้เป็นศึกสายเลือดเลยแย่งพื้นที่ในการเป็นตัวแทนไปได้ไปศึกอิตาลีเมษานี้ที่จะเข้าไปชกกันในทัวร์นาเมนต์อิตาลีคู่นี้เป็นหนึ่งคู่ในนั้นเปิดให้เห็นเลยคู่แรกเลยใครชนะได้ไปซัดกันโอ้โหเต็มเหนียวเต็มกาลาเบลครับพิกัดน้ำหนัก60กิโลกรัมนะฮะนักสู้ขายลูกคนแรกมาจากอุบลราชธานีขอเสียงต้อนรับพยักษ์มืออุบลเพชรน้ำงามหมอภูวนนาเพชรน้ำงามหมอภูวนนาพยักษ์มืออุบลประเทศไทยชกเมืองอุบลนะครับพิกัดน้ำหนัก60กิโลกรัมขึ้นสู่สังกูเย็นไปที่เรียบร้อยแล้วนี่คือสายเลือดใหม่นะครับซึ่งตั้งแต่เป็นพิธีกรมาเราก็ไม่เคยเจอเข้ามาก่อนเหมือนกันนี่คือการคัดเรื่องมานะฮะว่าเฮ้ยความเด็ดความมันจากอุบลราชนีก็มีเขาคนนี้เหมือนกันถูกต้องนะฮะและหนึ่งในนั้นแน่นอนจะได้ไปอิตาลีและหนึ่งในนี้อาจจะได้เซ็นสุดยายกับทางเราด้วยนะฮะเป็นสายเลือดใหม่ของไทยไฟต่อไปมาดูดีกว่าว่าคู่แข่งของเขาจะเป็นใครต้องให้คุณเดี๋ยวแนะนำนะครับนักชกเมืองอุบลวันนี้ต้องเจอกับนักชกจากร้อยเอ็ดนะฮะนี่คือขาบู๊เลยครับไม่เคยสนใจว่าอะไรจะเกิดขึ้นเดินหน้าลุยอย่างเดียวและเขาคือมหาการพลานชัยคุณสึกเล็กอ๋อขวัญเบื่อสุสึกเล็กอ๋อขวัญเบื่อมหาการพลานชัยประเทศไทยมันตรมมันเจ็บประปมระทมหรือไทยมันอ่อนระถวยไปทั้งใจเมื่อผู้สาวเฮาสีเขาเรื่อนหอกรังไปในงานมันดังสะทานสันหลังค่าเงินควันอายสะทกอกสะเทือนขึ้นนีเซ็ตเขาแท้แท้ละนอกเขาคงสีคันเขาคงสีย่องจนกองอ่อนเนาะแล้วแต่สีเฮ็ดกันโลกขอบอยากนึกภาพให้บาดใจให้สุขให้สันวันเอาบุญแอลสะเดือดตามใบได้ขึ้นสวรรค์สันใดเอิญไอเนเดอร์ยำเธอมีแหงขึ้นหอดไอเนเดอร์ให้คือทอดแฟนเก่าที่เคยกอดเศร้ากอดแลเอิญอายเนเดอยามเธอขึ้นสวรรค์น้ำเขาเอิญสืออายเบาๆเนเดอยามเธอมีแหงเจ้าบ้าวขึ้นหน้าหน้าตากันและในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่สุดในที่
15 losses and two draws. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Kun Suklek or Kwan Mueang. He's 28 years of age, trying 75 centimeters tall from Roy Et province in the Isan region. He's had a total of 100 fights, 80 victories, 19 losses and one draw. He's also a former Moy Sayam Isan champion. Yeah, we don't normally get this weight class to fight here at Thai Fight. But there's another special reason behind it, isn't there, Kevin? That's right, because the winner of this fight gets to go to Thai Fight in Italy. I mean, no, what a prize that is. No pressure. I mean, we don't even get to go, and these guys get to go. <laughs> <laughs> but then, at the same time, we're not in the ring, are, are we, Aaron? Very true. But yeah, a lot on the line for these two fighters. It's a big thing, isn't it? If you're a Muay Thai fighter and you get to go into, as they say, so a nice big prize on the line for, in the white corner, Pet Nam Nam, Mo Pu Wana. And in the black corner, Kun Suk Lek or Kwan Mueang. This fight is at 60 kilos. And you got to love it. Every single time we see a Thai versus Thai contest here in Thai fight, it's always a blast. Yeah, it's something special about it because obviously the concept is Thai versus foreigner usually. So when we do see Thai versus Thai, it's always a nice treat. All right, here we go. Round number one. Pet Nam Nam in the white corner. Nice right kick to the body there from the get off. Nice hands coming in there from Kun Suk Lek though. Taps it right. Head kick there. Wobbles Kun Suk Lek. And then a spin of Rooney almost. I think both of them have already been wobbled early on. My goodness. You now, when Pet Nam Nam in the white corner came to the ring, you could see that he was a little bit nervous because obviously. Oh, beautiful elbows going in. I mean, we've made it clear before the match that both of these fighters need to get started early, and they have done that exactly, my goodness. Huge kick coming in now from Pet Nam Nam. Oh, stunning right hand coming in there from Pet Nam Nam, and Kun Swin Lek goes down. What action you're seeing here in the very first round, and it's all over. Full speed ahead, I mean, we didn't expect the fight to finish this early. The former Roger Nguyen champion, the former Super Champ champion as well, takes a victory in the first round. And absolutely amazing how he did it as well. We've always, I mean, we've always said, there's a, there's a point where Thai fight have to look at themselves and think, why not go for the lower weight classes? Yes, sometimes they can go all the way, but sometimes you can get action just like that. And that's what we want to see here at Thai fight. Congratulations once again. It's a Thai fight roll bound in April. Pet Nam Nam, more who wanna? Well, he did catch him with an overhead right kick that wobbled him, and then he got wobbled. The action was so quick. It just goes to show how lethal those catchers, that the catcher is. Absolutely, those rope hands are devastating. He goes in with the right, and as quick as a flash, that right hand comes over the top, and Kunsetlet almost leans into it at the same time meaning ultimate impact just on the temple. I mean, you gotta, you he got, went. You've got to feel for him. Kutsuk like saw that right hand coming. He did. But then uh, at the same time, maybe he thought to himself, my goodness, there's nothing I can do about it. What a way to start the action here. At the Thai fight. Thai fight, Italy. Stay with us, more action to come. And they the winner is... from ขอแสดงความยินดีด้วยกับผู้ชนะนะครับแล้วก็เป็นกําลังใจให้กับผู้ที่แพ้ไปด้วยกันครับ เอาละครับพร้อมจะลุยกันต่อเลยยังฮะถ้าพร้อมแล้วนะครับคู่ต่อไปนะฮะเป็นคาดเชื่องเหมือนเดิมห้ามกระพริบตาเหมือนเดิ
Ali Reza Amizade. Ali Reza Amizade. จอมเดือดจากเปอร์เซียประเทศอิหร่าน Ali Reza, welcome to the stage. Ah, la kap, ah la kap. Ma, the do what? The way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. Ah, the way he is. Ah, cheering too. Today, ma, kap. Fit, not bad. ยอดมวยจากเมืองพะเยาซ้ายขวาหมัดหนักเท่าโอ้โหพะเยาจําได้เลยคนนี้หมัดหนักมากๆหนักจริงๆเมื่อจะหลบทางไหนถ้าเจอซ้ายหรือเจอขวานั้นคุณเจองานหนักเท่าๆกันไปลุยกับเขาก็เลยดีกว่านะครับนี่คือขุนศึกเมืองพะเยานกโอชอฮาพยักขมันนกโอชอฮาพยักขุนศึกเมืองพะเยาประเทศไทยabsolutely amazing. One of your favorite fighters, Teddy. Oh, definitely. And now, me and Aaron actually have a nickname for him. The Titan of Westside. And we'll see if I can take something back. Do you want to run my game? 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 Next bout of the evening, Thailand taking on Iran. And a weight advantage though for Ali Reza. He weighed in at 70 kilos, whilst Nong O weighed in at 69 kilos. And we have to thank everybody who's watching who's out there in YouTube land. This is the first time that you get to hear English commentary on a Thai Fi event live. And we would really, really appreciate it if you could like and share and even comment on the stream. All right, second bout of the evening. Here we go. Let's see if it can last a little bit longer than the first. <laughs> In the white corner, Mr. Ali Reza Amirzadeh. He is 24 years of age from Iran. Stands at 177 centimeters. He has 32 fights with 22, sorry, 32 fights with 22 victories and 10 losses and no draws. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner, representing Thailand, Nong O Shaw Ha Payak. His real name is Mr. Adison Jit Kam Koon. He's 22 years of age, 174 centimeters tall from Payao province in the northern part of Thailand. He's had a total of 235 fights, 185 victories, 40 losses and 10 draws. There you can see the physique of Nong O. Rippling muscles. Something to envy, right? <laughs> <laughs> One day. One day, maybe. I've been saying that for 10 years, I think. Every single New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's always exciting, though, to see Nong O. He's so explosive. Yeah, I mean, and not, not only that, when he was in the stadiums, he was knocking people out. 
in what, eight ounce gloves. So now with these rope hands, these card jerk, you know, this ancient style of Muay Thai, it's even more deadly in some ways. Left hand there from Nongo, straight off the bat, and he finds the mark. Right kick to the body. Oh, there's that sledgehammer right hand going in once again. And just like that, Ali Reza's already feeling Nongo's power. I mean, just look at that. I mean, it's exactly what you want to avoid. The first thing your coach tells you when you go into the ring against Nongo is to keep your hands up. Ali Reza, unfortunately, is not doing that right now, and it could be an early night for him. He has a couple of shots, though. He's, done, he's taken them pretty well. Left hand there. Nongo with a right kick, then he moves in, but got caught with a good uppercut there by Ali Reza. Yeah, but definitely Nongo should not look past look, or overlook Ali Reza whatsoever because Ali Reza, he's got phenomenal hands as well and he's got a lot of power behind them. Swinging right hands again there from Nongo, wide of the mark though, pushing Ali Reza back into that corner. Not a good place to be. No, definitely not. I mean, the corner is something you want to avoid when you're fighting someone like Nongo. I mean, he should at least try to step out or step away from the corner. Back to the center of the ring they go. Nongo trying to push back Ali Reza. Again with that left hand. Another swinging right that just wide of the target. Oh, so right kick to the body there from Nongo. I think it's fair to say that Ali Reza felt that kick. Yeah, and it slowed him down. I mean, we're not even in the ring. We can feel it from here. Certainly made a crunching sound. Seems to be a lot of fun when we ran on the stream there. Again, Nongo pushing back the Iranian. Superman punch attempt. Ali Reza, though, he's covering up pretty well so far. Yeah, I mean, he's holding his own. He's taking Nongo's shots, shots on that shot. Oh, good right hand there. Stunning right hand from Ali Reza on the counter. I think it's fair to say you can't continue to take all these shots. They're going to start adding up, that's for sure. Nongo moving in with a the knee there in the clinch and then takes down the Iranian. Pushing forward once again, attacking the body this time. I mean, Nongo, when he threw that kick early on in this round, you could tell that Ali Reza felt it and he reacted to it. So maybe that's what Nongo needs to do. He needs to start attacking the body. And I think that's what we're seeing in the ring right now. Yeah, he also employed leg kicks there a moments ago that connected to Ali Reza. That's one way of slowing your opponent down. Another knee to the body there from the tie. End of round one. Officially, how would you have scored that opening round? Yeah, I, I got to give it to Nongo without a shadow of a doubt. I just think he's been busier. He's um, hurt his opponent more. Uh, it's, just, it's just very hard to give out Ali Reza that round. Oh, good right hand there from Ali Reza. No count though. The referee sets continue as he again headhunts with that right hook. I mean, after the first round, we didn't think that Nongo would turn it up, and he's done exactly just that here in the second round. Absolutely amazing to see, and that's what the fans come here to see. Oh, another right hand around the earlobe there. 
certainly going to bust your equilibrium. Oh, Got to be careful. Yeah. One thing's for sure is that Ali Reza is tough. I mean, we've seen opponents take shots like that from Nongo, and they're not even standing, at, even after the 10 count. But Ali Reza managed to stay on his feet, and he's still fighting, yeah, still exchanging. Right. Ali Reza still in this one. Oh, he, de he definitely is. I mean, if he's still standing, if Nongo's still standing, he's still exchanging. There's, there's no doubt that he's still in this fight. But like you said, though, he showed his toughness. He showed his toughness, but uh, maybe the only thing that's lacking is the defense. He's got to try to keep his balance here. Nongo's also found a home for that right hand. Just a, a short little right hook. There, just around the corner. He's connecting to it at will there and again. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Oh, solid knee. Yeah, that's what Nongo needs to do more. He needs to start changing the levels. He needs to start attacking the head, and then if, if, it, if they continue to get blocked, he needs to start attacking the body. Oh, solid right hand that time again. Again, Ali Reza, though, very strong, able to take a lot of punishment. Blood streaming from the nose now of the Iranian. Could be difficult for him to breathe out of that nose right now. Well, that's something he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to blow out of that nose. Oh, swell up. So it can swell up elsewhere. He needs to start breathing out of his mouth now, and that's going to be difficult. And again, Nongo not taking your advice at all, Kevin. Just headbutting all the way. Now, I was impressed with a few of those low kicks that he attacked with in that first round. I'm surprised he hasn't gone back there. But, um, but, but in this second round, he's having a lot of success, to be fair to him. Oh, absolutely. And it's worth the right hand. Oh, good right hand there from Ali Reza. But here comes Nongo trying to finish the fight. Again, Ali Reza just able to grab a hold of Nongo. Both fighters breathing heavily right now. Yeah, that's right. And, but you know, Nongo has been attacking the head this whole time. He's been head hunting in the first and second round. Why not try to change it up a little bit? Ali Reza is expecting another shot to the head. Attack the legs. I agree completely. And it's not like he's not capable of that. He actually has good kicks. He just wants that knockout, that highlight reel knockout, I think. End of round two. Ali Reza is able to survive another round against the boost of Nongo. Round. And I think it's fair to say it's been all Nong O. Oh, Nong O oh even off balancing Ali Reza and he's continuing to attack the head. Maybe he just needs to change up a little bit. I mean, we've seen that. We've seen some punches uh, go to the body. We've seen some, uh, well, we've seen one low kick perhaps. Yeah, one low kick that actually scored and was success successful and, you know, forced Ali Reza to, to at least think. But since then, it's been head headshot after headshot after headshot from Nong O to Hapayak. You know what I think it is? I think. Right now, Ali Reza is in Nong O's head. I mean, he's, he's showing Nong O that, look, you can't, you can't knock me out. And Nong O's just getting frustrated with that. Saying that, some be in Ali Reza's head with the amount, <laughs> the amount of shots that he's taken to the ears. All right, here we go, third and final round. Are you saying you can pull the other side of the rope outside the, outside the ear? <laughs> You're not saying that, not me. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, once again, trying to push forward and more heavy hands from Nong Oh, and not going for the low kicks at all, still determined to hunt the head. Swinging left and right hands coming in here from the tie. Nice body shot there from Longo. And it worked for him. I mean, you saw when he went for the body shot, 
Ali Reza reacted to it. Oh, and again, a jumping right hook there from Nongo. And that's going to score a lot of points for Nongo, taking the back of the opponent. That's something anybody wants to avoid, having your opponent take it back. Again, he looks flat. Jab. They're just coming together. Nongo again, pushing back. Ali Reza, that time goes to the body. I have been impressed though, it has to be said, with the durability of Ali Reza. He has taken a lot of punishment, let's not forget. And he's still in there and he's still swinging. He's still able to defend himself by grabbing a hold of Nongo. Yeah, you're absolutely correct, but the problem is right now, Ali Reza, he has to be first. He has to start walking forward and he has to start dishing out some punishments. Because I think it's fair to say, I mean, everyone at home and the judges probably saw Nongo win the first two rounds. I feel like right now it's just a case of surviving the fight for Ali Reza. He's almost a win in himself the amount of punishments that he's taken to be able to stay in there until the final bell. Oh my goodness! I don't know what went flying just now, I but I think know. it may have been a tooth. My goodness! You're right, something red. Part of the year, perhaps? No idea. Ali Reza with a big, deep breath. He really wants to make it to the end, you can tell. You've got to love the guts that Ali Reza is showing in this fight here tonight. He knew when he took the fight, it was never going to be easy taking on someone of the caliber of Nongo. Yeah, you can see by that, that nose is destroyed. It is broken, potentially in three or four places. Deep breaths again there by the Iranians. Yeah, feels... get any air into that body. Look, he can't breathe. You can see that. Another right hand there from Nongo. That's maybe five places to the nose now. I wonder if the referee's looking at this thinking, is it necessary for him to take any more punishment right now? You saw it just now. I mean, the referee had a good look at Ali Reza's nose, and he, he thinks Ali Reza could continue, so why not? Well, there it is. End of the third and final round. We will go to the judges for a decision. I'm sure everyone watching out there on YouTube Land is going to see and believe that Nongo will get his hand raised, but we have to give props where props is due to Ali Reza Amirzadeh. I mean, Ali Reza, he showed he is a tough, tough opponent for Nong Oh. And um, at the same time, with just a little bit more skills, a little bit more experience, he can be a very dangerous. I don't mind seeing him again. I feel like he's deserved a second shot, perhaps. Just, just through his toughness alone. Let's have a look at the highlights of that third and final round, indeed. The fight. Pretty much the story of the fight was Nongo looking for the left and right hooks. And Ali Reza surviving. Uh, he tried to blow out of his nose there. That was such mistake. a bad idea. Mistake. You said, didn't you? Warning. Don't do that. You can swell up the eyes. Oh. That nose might never be the same again. Oh, definitely not. Or the breathing, perhaps. But I think it's, this is also something good for Nongo to go back and watch again and where he can tweak his performance. But remember, he, he's still young and relatively inexperienced here at Thai Fight. Yeah, he's, he's still only, learning. He's only 22 years old. All right, let's go to our MCs at ringside for the official decision. Stay with us, folks. Still to come, the female queen of Thai Fight. Let's the winner. The winner is... No, oh, so have a young from Thailand! Hey, I'm going to put it on the golf, and I'm going to put it on the golf, and I'm going to put it on the golf. นะครับก็จะมีโอกาสได้คะแนนค่อนข้างเยอะในการปล่อยอาวุธหนักๆด้วยเช่นเดียวกันแน่นอนครับนี่คือมวยคัดเชือกของเรานะฮะกับพิมตาก็อาจจะล่วงได้แต่ตอนนี้ยื้อก็ถึงไม่ร่วงถึงสามยกได้นะครับมาลุยกันที่คู่ต่อไปครับกับชัยไฟลวงพ่อรวยลวงพ่อรวยสระบุรีวัดเชิงเขาโปรดเมตตาขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆด,ด้วยครับทุกคนครับและนี่คือโอชอห้าพยักษ์นะฮะขอบคุณมากคู่สามยังมันขนาดนี้เราก็ใจที่จะสร้างความมันให้กับทุกคนนะครับคราวนี้ใครไม่เคยดูมวยหญิงคุณจะได้ดูครั้งนี้ครั้งแรกแล้วครับเดี๋ยวบอกแบบนี้ก่อนที่คุณเป๊กพูดไปหัวเราะไปนี่ไม่ใช่ว่าเป็นเรื่องขำๆไม่ใช่มันเป็นความตื่นเต้นที่เกิดขึ้นมันมีความสุขว่ามวยหญิงนะเขาเรียกว่าอะไรอ่ะ
หลายคนคิดว่าแน่นบอบบางอะไม่แพ้มวยชายอะดูดันมากจริงๆก็เลยให้เขาเห็นเต็ม2ตาแล้วกันว่าไทไฟวันนี้จัดให้ที่สําคัญเป็นมวยหญิงแบบคาดเชือกด้วยเพราะว่าไทไฟคือสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงฉะนั้นเดี๋ยวมาดูนครับคู่นี้พบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก53กิโลกรัมครับและอัดฉีดด้วยมันยื่นกับเด็กแน่นอนรางวัลอัดฉีด 15,000 บาทให้กับผู้ชนะนะโดยสนับสนุนจากบริษัทไพลินเลเซอร์เมทัลจำกัดครับคนแรกนะยอดมวยหญิงจากบราซิลความสูงเธอมาพร้อมกับความโหดครับขอเสียงต้อนรับเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนยูลีอัลเวสอัลเวสเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนประเทศบราซิลที่นี่มีความสุขมากเลยนะครับนี่คือเสียงของนักเตะเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนนะครับเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนนะครับเสือร้ายแห่งอเมซอนนะครับเสือร I love Yuli Alvarez's style. Amazing, she's fantastic. Yeah, her entrance is so much fun. Yuli Alvarez from the same. Sambo Flair, he's a very good fighter. 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 สเต็ปตลอดเวลาไทยบ็อกซิ่งแดนเซอร์หรือเปล่าไม่รู้วนเวียนผ้าใบเธอต้องมีสเต็ปที่ใช้ได้เหมือนกันถูกต้องเลยนะฮะดังนั้นเดี๋ยวดูนะว่าสเต็ปของเธอแบบนั้นจะใช้บนเวทีได้แบบนี้หรือเปล่านะครับถ้าเจอมวยบุกแบบนี้ดีกรีที่ผ่านมาเขาขอไม่พูดนะครับสำหรับนักมวยท่านนี้ขอบอกแค่ว่าเธอคือแชมป์ถ้วยพระชทานไทยไฟคาดเชือกปี2022นั่นเองและเธอคือสาวแกล่งรุ่มสาลวินเวโรวอลรูซิราวงเวโรวอลรูซิราวงสาวแกล่งรุ่มสาลวินประเทศเมียนมามันแน็กออกกระจกไทยไฟท์ฟันคลับคุณสามารถเข้าไปที่ไทยไฟท์ฟันคลับคุณสามารถเข้าไปที่ไทยไฟท์ฟันคลับคุณสามารถเข้าไปที่ไทยไฟท
that comes up on the screen. If it does indeed come up on the screen in YouTube, I'm not sure if it does or not, but if it does, then you can scan that QR code because there is opportunity to win numerous prizes. The top prize for 2023 will be a free flight, yes, a free flight to go and watch Thai fight in Rome, which will take place in Italy in 2023. Registration will close at 8 p.m. today, so you've got, what, just over 45 minutes to try and claim that prize and we will announce the winners at the end of tonight's broadcast. Just a reminder that unfortunately me and Aaron won't be able to go to uh, Italy <laughs> with you. <laughs> so you have to make we sure to have, Wait, we should scan and apply. That's what we should do. Absolutely. Why don't we think about that? <laughs> All right. Third bout of the evening and our only female bout in the white corner from Brazil, Yuli Alves, nicknamed Calais. Hey, if there's anyone on the stream on YouTube, you can translate or tell us what Calais means, please do so. It means street, doesn't it? Is that what it does? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just having a guess here. She is 29 years of age, stands at 165 centimeters, and has a fantastic professional record of 30 fights with 24 victories, with only five losses and one draw. Now introducing her opponent, representing the Karini people of Myanmar. She goes by the name of Vero Barucci, right wrong. She's 26 years of age, 164 centimeters tall, She's had a total of 37 fights, 18 victories, 2 losses, and 17 draws. That's right, 17 draws. And why is that, Aaron? Because in Letway, the Burmese martial art, if you don't win your fight, it doesn't matter how dominant you are or how beat, beaten up you, you are or got, the fight is declared a draw. That is right. And let's not forget that Vero is the 2022 Kachuk champion of 53 kilos. She was also the declared the WMO Female Fighter of the Year as well. So last year, an amazing year for Vero. Let's see if she can start off 2023 in the same fashion. Yuli Alves trying to derail the phenom. That is Vero for Rujira Wong. He trains out of Tiger Muay Thai. And as is as compulsory. Is custom. As is custom. custom. <laughs> Hello, Johnny Betts. Johnny Our friend bets the octopus. Always need to give him a, sh a shout out, no matter. Or usually, if a, fi a, a fighter from Tiger Boy Tai comes comes to compete, yeah. All right, here we go. Round one. You can imagine how big it will be for Yuli Alves if she manages to beat Vero. Oh my on. goodness! Stunning right hand there from Vero. She's going down to the body there and down up to the head of Yuli Alves. I'm not sure how much she can take of this. Fighting and the referee did the right thing by giving her a count, and I don't think she knows where she is right now. My oh goodness, I want abs like Yuli Alves. She took so much punishment, and she's okay, it seems. Yeah, she wants to continue, that's for sure. That's unbelievable. All right, here comes Vero again. Yuli trying to elbow her way out of danger. Into the clinch they go. The referee obviously is not going to let that one fly here on tight fight. Now, for those at home that can't say you'd be Sanchez here at ringside with us and he is very impressed with Yuli Alves' abs being able to take all that punishment. <laughs> Good left hook there from Yuli Alves. Oh, a swinging right hand attempt there by Vero, misses the mark. An attempt, I thought it connected, I thought it was a good shot there. Absolutely amazing, good knee there from Yuli Alves and Vero might be in a lot of trouble. Good left hand from Vero. Yeah, you were right, Yuli went to the body of uh, Vero. Looked like she was... In trouble just for a second, swinging, spinning back elbow attempt there by the Brazilian. Now I'm going to make an educated guess that y Yuli Alves is going to start attacking Vero's body. I mean, she saw Vero just freeze for a second. Left jab there by Vero. Yuli has a mouse under her left eye right now from all that punishment she took early on in the round. And here comes Vero once again, backing up Yuli to the corner. But a stunning left knee to get out of that situation by Yuli. Now, I think I speak for Yuli Alves' corner, but I think she should keep her hands up because she's taking way too many shots up there. And it's showing. Well, the thing about that is if you hold your hands up that high, what we saw, Vero go down to the body. She can switch levels at will. Wow, what an amazing opening round. Stunning action here at Thai Fight.
Let's have a look at the highlights from that amazing opening round. Vero, from the get-go, backed up Yuli right into the corner. Some amazing headshots, and then Yuli covered up, and there you can see straight to the body with some devastating left and right hooks. But amazingly, Yuli, look at those eyes. Confident. She survived. She weathered that storm. The best ab workout I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That is some Rocky movie action right there. Don't try this at home, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I mean, the referee eventually had to come in and count. Yuli wasn't attacking back, and she was just receiving way too much damage. She even caught Vero with, I think it was a knee to the body that actually just made Vero question things just for a split second. Let's see what happens in the second round. Yeah, she had, she had a lot of success with the, with, with the body attacks, um, Yuli. Maybe she wants to go back and start doing that again. Teeps to the body there by Vero. Left hook connects to Yuli. Both these girls with really nice footwork. A lot of Vaseline on uh, Yuli's face, and probably for good reason. We know up at Tiger Muay Thai, should I say, down at Tiger Muay Thai, they have some fantastic boxing coaches. And you can tell, by the way, you know, Vero fights, but let's not forget that Vero has also fought amateur boxing before. Oh, there you go. And there's the, uh, the QR code, boys and girls, if you want to scan that. You can join the Thai Fight Club, supporters group, and potentially win a flight to Rome to watch Thai Fight in Italy. Heavy hands coming in once again from Vero. Vero determined to oh, keep on moving forward. There's and that knee. Fantastic. I mean, she needs to start going and back again, that. there's that left knee. Team to the body. I think Yuli has found a weakness in Vero that nobody else has been able to find. The body attacks, you know, she's reacted really badly to it. I mean, maybe two times already in this bout. Super impressed with Yuli Alves in this second round so far. There's that knee again, but Vero again, just bang down on that gun shield and swinging lefts and rights to the body and to the head. And blood coming out of Yuli Alves's nose right now. She needs to not do the same mistake as that Ali Reza in the, in the previous bout. You can see that Vero is looking for that overhand right. Just want to see Yuli start going back to the body again. It, it's worked so well for her, but I think that's exactly what she's doing. But she's waiting for Vero to attack first. She needs to be the one attacking first. Yeah, deep breaths there by Yuli Alves. Perhaps fatigue, time to start to set in now. And who can blame her for that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you saw earlier. Oh, nice left hand there to end round number two. Stay with us, another amazing round here at Thai Fight. Ladies putting on a clinic.
have a look at the second round highlights from this amazing fight between two female warriors. Vero, again, looking to go up top, looking to connect with left and right hands. Yuli having more success when she aims for the body, body sorry, of the, uh, the Myanmar fighter. But what a great showing it's been so far from both fighters, in fact, but I'm very impressed with the toughness that Yuli has shown. Now, unfortunately, um, you weren't able to see it, but during the break, when uh, Yuli Alves was in, was in her corner, she let out a huge scream. And right now, unfortunately, you can't see it, but in the arena, she is showing her love for the fans. You know, Calm, very relaxed. I think she knew that this was going to be a war and she was going to have to put in one of the best performances of her career so far. And right now, she has been incredible. I mean, if you're a female fighter at 53 kilos, you have seen Vero before. That's without a shadow of a doubt. You know how strong Vero is and you just have to try and match that toughness. And that's exactly what Yuli Alves is doing here tonight. And Vero starting off using that left hand, that jab. Then trying to set up the right hand. Yuli. Nice right hand there from Yuli. Yuli Alves having a lot of success with that right hand and she's going to keep on going back to it. And why not? That knee once again going down the center. Little attempted left hand there from Yuli to the body. Trading left and right hands there. Relatively even in the opening stages of this third and final round. I think Yuli has basically said, I'm not, I don't want to be dominated. I don't want to see what happened in the first round. That's right, Yuli's confidence never dropped from the first round to the second round, and now in the third round, she is more confident than ever. Good right hand, left hand there from Vero. Attempting swinging kick, but a nice counter strike by Yuli going low. Yuli having a lot of success with the teams, and she keeps going back to that, why not? I mean, you don't really see Vero blocking the teams, you see her stepping back instead. Oh, sorry, right hand there from Vero, but again, Yuli just eats it up. Low kick by Vero and then a left hand. You know, we've seen Angela Chang give Vero quite a hard time, yes. of course, because she's a good clincher, but Yuli Alves needs to be considered right up there I agree. with her as, as well. It's been absolutely phenomenal to watch her, and she's taking the fight to Vero right now with some elbows. Again, good elbow there by Yuli Alves. Another swinging right hand from Vero. Good knees there coming in from Yuli. I don't understand why the referee stepped in with that. Did she say it was too low? Perhaps so. Some blood up the thigh of Yuli. I'm pretty sure that's just streaming from her nose. End of the foot. And that team came out of the belt just so end from her nose. What a third round there for Yuli Alves. You know, she's going to be hope, she's going to be wishing that she fought just like that in the first and second round. I agree. To be honest, I honestly think that Vero did win the first and second rounds, so if I'm being honest, but I think Yuli took the third. And to take a round from Vero is almost a victory in itself. I think and I'm not just saying yeah. that as someone who sees Vero and, you know, commentates around her all the time as part of, you know, ta Team TIE Fighter or whatever. Vero is that far ahead in, in, in 50, at 53 kgs that to come here and take a round away from her, like I said, is an impressive thing to do. Let's, let's be honest, Yuli Alves is going to want a rematch. Without a shadow of a doubt, she's going to take this as a learning lesson and Mick. she's going to want to come back. And you know, as we know how, how determined Vero is and how competitive, I won't be surprised if she wants that rematch as well. Oh, for sure. I mean, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. When we saw the match card, when we saw that Yuli Alves saying on Vero, we thought there was no chance. But in that third round, you know, and throughout the whole fight, in fact, she showed her toughness and she showed that she can make Vero go get into a lot of trouble. Yeah, really impressive. Stay with us. Here comes the official decision. ผลออกมาแล้วนะฮะและผู้ชนะของเรานะครับ the 
ีด้วยกับผู้ชนะแล้วก็เป็นกําลังใจให้กับผู้ที่พ่ายไปแต่ถือว่าสมศักดิ์ศรีฮะวันนี้ใช่ครับทั้งคู่นี่เรียกว่าไม่มีอะไรต้องกลับไปเสียใจเลยเก่งมากๆแข็งแรงมากๆนะปัดโดยโหลดหนักแล้วเข้ามามากกว่านะแน่นอนนี่คือมวยหญิงสุดมันของไทยไฟและเจอต่อกับไทยไฟนะฮะหลวงพ่อรวยขอพึงบารมีหลวงพ่อรวยสาราบุรีวัดเชิงเขาโปรดเมตตาชนะคะแนนไปได้วันนี้นะครับแม่ไม่น็อกแต่แน่นอนครับก็เชียร์เธออย่างแน่สม่ำเสมอนะครับเอาละครับคู่ต่อไปพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก72กิโลกรัมนะฮะแล้วก็เป็นเรื่องของผมเลยล่ะครับหมายถึงเรื่องของผมคือเขาเปรียบตัวเองมันช่างตัดผมนะครับนักมวยครับชอบใช้ความคมของศอกเป็นเหมือนความคมของกันไกลจะเจ๋งขนาดไหนขอเสียงโปรมือต้อนรับเจ้าบาเบอร์เควินบซ่าเควินบซ่าเดอะบาเบอร์ประเทศจะเป็นบซ่า with a nickname the barber he's gonna be trying to cut down s i r e here tonight Quite a few fighters from Spain now taking to Muay Thai. And the next fighter who's going to try and make a name for himself is that man right there, Kevin Bosa. Fun fact, you know, he's nicknamed the Barber, but he actually is the Barber as well. Ah, uh, how, how do you know that? Doing your research. I, was, I huh? just went into his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> the best research you can do. And I think he loves it as much as he loves Muay Thai. So let's see how good he is here. He uh, looks tall, doesn't he? I've seen Sayon recently fighting. Yes, he's getting on in age, and yes, the power still remains. But there are certain question marks about his chin. We've seen him be dropped a couple of times in recent fights. Yeah, maybe three or four yeah, times last year, in fact. ดูจากความมั่นใจจากสเต็ปเท้าการกระโดดที่รู้สึกนี่ไม่ธรรมดาแหน่ดีนะเนี่ยไม่ติดตกปลายเชือกไม่อยากจะคิดภาพตามคุณจะพูดอย่างนั้นโอเคมาแล้วต้องขอบคุณสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอดสุดยอด
from Madrid in Spain. He stands at 186 centimeters and has a very good professional record of 35 fights with 30 victories and just five losses. And now introducing his opponent, as you can see on your screen, Sayok Pumpumwang. He's 39 years of age and 73 centimeters tall. His real name is Sakda Niamhom. He's had 33, uh, 333 fights in total, 281 victories, 50 losses, and two draws. Can't name too many fighters from Pisanolok province, but um, I think it's fair to say that Sayok is the most famous one has ever come out of Pisanolok province, in fact. Well, I'd have to agree with you on that one. Just going back into Samui. I do miss Thai fight Samui. That was one of my favorite events for uh, obvious reasons. But the Thai Fight Hotel. But also, please tell us. <laughs> also, also has an amazing restaurant which serves delectable traditional Thai food. And for more information, you can go to the website www.thaifighthotel.com or Thai Fight Hotel Facebook fan page. We have discounts for the Thai Fight Fan Club and for the English commentators. I just made that up. <laughs> well, hopefully they're listening at the back and uh, they're going to bring it up soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't forget, please, if you want to, if you can, it's always worthwhile. Join the Thai Fight fan club at Thai Fight online. All right, here we go. Fourth bout of the evening, the legendary Sayo versus the very, very tall Kevin Bosa. You can imagine Bosa wants to make a name for himself in this fight, just like Tontera did after winning against uh, Sayo in the previous fight. Ah, that's right. Yeah, last time we saw Sayo, he was actually stopped in the first round due to a massive cut just over the right eyebrow. Yeah, referee did a good job to stop that one. I wonder if Bosa was watching that fight or has at least seen it. He thinks that's potentially a weak spot where he could try and open that cut again. Well, the thing is, if he, if he didn't watch that fight, he's definitely seen Sayok in the ring before. Well, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get too starstruck. He's doing a good job here, attacking the leg. Oh. And a huge left hand there from Kevin Bosa. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to get worried about that cut now. <laughs> Bosa looking very smooth in this opening round. Nice footwork. Huge power in that left hand, or right hand, excuse me. Very tall, isn't he? Looks even taller than 186. Yeah, but it's quite a norm, actually, for Sayok to compete against That's true. fighters who are taller than him. Very true. Yeah. Oh, another left hand there. Oh, and a nice knee. Good right hand, though, from Sayok. Just a warning shot there from, from the tight legend. I mean, let's not forget that Sayok at one point was all the way up to 75 kilos. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, he's facing Shanat Jordan and you know, a lot of other heavier fighters. Oh, another swinging right hand there from Sayok. Still well under the right eye there of Sayok. Taking a few decent shots, that's been said in this opening round. Oh, that's for sure. I mean, Sayok. Oh, my goodness! Stop left hand there! Bolsa! He's looking drunk, he's looking one way! Bosa, the barber is down. I mean, Sayo takes his time to start, but once he gets started, you cannot stop him. And that's an example of that just now. Keep your eyes on that left hand. You know he's going to come again. Bosa might have to wait for the bell here. Nice left hand there from Bosa, just regaining his composure. And he's doing ever so well in that opening round again. As Sayo moves in with that left hand, aiming it at the chin of the Spaniard. Yeah, Bosa did a good job though. When he got counted, he took his time to get up and took the he entire did. 10 yes. seconds in, in order to get back to the match. Well done to him. Nice left hand, left hook combination there from Bosa once again. Very impressive opening round, apart from, of course, that knockdown. It was all Bosa. And, you know, if it stays like this, Sayo has took the round because, like I said, of that knockdown. End of round one. Interesting round as Sutsukon comes in to help Sayo. Stay with us.
of Kevin Bosa, but eventually he got caught quite a few times, and especially that one, the big left hand which stunned him, and Sayo just went to work right after that. Yeah, you can see the eyes rattling around in his head after that explosive left hand. That's a great shot of it right there. I mean, who knows, it could have been Bosa's round, you know, if, uh, if that knockdown didn't come, but let's not... I would say it was, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Forget one thing, one very crucial important detail is that in Thai fight, if you get knocked down, that only counts for just one point. So it's a 10 9 round for Sayok in that round. Oh, straight away, Bosa goes in. Unbelievable hands there from Bosa. He knows that he's down on the scorecards. He's taking it to the legend. You gotta give it to Bosa, showing such tremendous heart. I mean, he wants to come back into this fight, he wants to do it in style with all those combinations. Oh, Sayok there. In the clinch delivers another stunning left hook. Bosa holding on just a little bit there. Yeah, Sayok seems like he's in a lot of trouble at 39 years of age. And I'm surprised that he's still standing from some of these blows. Good left hook, hook, yeah. Good elbow there from Bosa as well. So active, just doesn't stop. Relentless pressure. You know, this is exactly what Bosa needed to do after he got knocked down. You, you've got to imagine his coaches are very happy what they're seeing in the ring right now. There's that left hook from Sayo once again. Good knee there from Bosa. Right hand from Sayo. Nice body shot there from the left hand. And then Bosa walks in to a left hand and a left knee. Down goes Bosa for the second time in the fight. Beautiful boxing there from Sayo. I mean, he ducked underneath the hook coming in from Bosa and then just gave, and then just gave him that hand. He's looking into his corner. It looks okay. Looks like he's recovered once again. Good right hand there from Sayok. And again, back to the body. Elbow attempt there from Bosa. Right hand from Sayok to the body. And again, a stinking body shot. And then a left knee once again from Sayok. And down goes Bosa for the second time in the round. Now remember, if you go down three times in a round, the referee, by the rules of of Thai fight, will have to stop the fight. Both are showing tremendous heart, but I don't think it keeps going on. There's no way the body is hurt. This is it, and down she moves, and it's all over. The legend, that is Sayon, put Let one more and lives on here at Thai fight. Oh, you've got to love Sayon's determination to stay into the match, no matter how many shots he's taken. I think we surmised it pretty well when he was entering the ring. We were saying that the power still remains. Maybe the chin doesn't, not as strong as before, but my goodness, he still has sledgehammers for hands. Oh, definitely. And you know, before he used to rely so much on his elbows, but now his hands have become the dominant weapon. And especially with someone as tall as, as Kevin Bosa, it's going to be incredibly difficult to, to get as close to throw those elbows. And in stunning Sayok fashion as well, there was blood in the water. He saw that there was problems with the midsection of Bosa, and he just went all in, all out attack to the body. Yeah, no, the yeah, yeah, man, the thing, the body, the head follows. But the other side is the same, right? Yes, right, man. But I feel like he's going to win the fight. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. He does the side, the side. That left hand came in. And any time he could find body shots, Bang, right there. And Bosa felt that one. Hey, you gotta love it how Sayok changes the levels at each attack. He, if, he can, if he can't connect to the head, he goes to the body. That's something that I think non Go could learn from. Oh, definitely. I mean, if Nongo is able to do the exact same thing that Sayok can do, I mean, with Nongo's age, his power, his speed, he could be such a phenomenal fighter. I mean, he already is. But he could be even better. I agree. Right now, Nongo's a great fighter, but he can be unstoppable, learning from what he's seen in, uh, from Sayok here tonight. And that's the thing, fighters get they're so afraid of the power of the headshots from Sayok that they cut her up, and then the body's exposed, and Sayok doesn't care. He's going to attack anything that he can see is open. He's a rabid dog once he gets going. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, Stay with us here on Thai Fight. Ball, the debutant okay, Song Gao so is so next. Up. Up. Now, 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 the winner is... Tate Zerapujana Horao Sayo Pumanwan from Thailand! Kun so amin gong rao na yang dai bai tawa na song malang gao. ยินดีกับผู้ชนะครับแล้วก็ไปกระจายกับผู้ที่ไม่ให้ไปไม่เป็นไรเดี๋ยวมาลุยกันใหม่ได้ครับได้ครับผมแล้วก็มาลุยต
ขอพึงบารมีหลวงพ่อรวยสระบุรีวัดเชิงเขาโปรดเมตตาเข็มขัดหลวงพ่อรวยเลยนะครับพวกเราทุกคนและนี่คือสยโยกภูมิพันม่วงเอาละครับต่อไปนะพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก74กิโลกรัมคนแรกยอดมวยจากอิสราเอลนะฮะมีละเสพเท้าความไวในการออกอาวุธทีเดียวนะครับบอกเลยนี่สายวายสายวายทำไมฮะวทั้งเท้าไวทั้งแขนสายวายสายวายสายวายไวมากนะฮะขอเสียงต้อนรับ The Kicker เอลอซูบอนเอลอซูบอน The Kicker ประเทศอิสราเอลสูงยาวข่าวดีเอลัสซูมานครับ from Israel นะครับ welcome to the stage ในพิกัดน้ำหนักมือ74กิโลกรัมนะครับผมเจอนัดโมอยู่หนึ่งท่านที่จะขึ้นมาต่อกรกับชายคนนี้ได้นะฮะเป็นยอดมวยจากเมืองร้อยเอ็ดอีกเช่นกันนะครับทีเด็ดมัดสอกข่าวมีหมดจะมาโชว์วันนี้ได้ครบเครื่องขนาดไหนปรบมือเป็นรักใจด้วยนะครับนี่คือคุณศึกบึงพลานชัยสอนขาวชอห้าพยักขมาสอนขาวชอห้าพยักคุณศึกบึงพลานชัยประเทศไทย And here we go coming straight from Roy and Robbins making his time fight debut here tonight สอนขาวSo the rest of the world, will you? No, 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 no. You were saying <laughs> that's true. He's got potential, but has he ever reached that potential? I'm saying he's got a massive opportunity now to show it's the very, world that it, he, it's he very belongs. true. Because I mean, a lot of the fighters who make it on Thai fight, you know, they they, they prove something and, and they showed something special, you know, outside the promotion. And quite honestly, I don't think I've seen that from Son Kao just yet. But maybe, you know, given the opportunity, he can do it right here tonight. This is it. This is it for him. 30 years of age. He does fight in the in the stadiums a few times now and again. You do get to see him, but at his weight, it's difficult to find opponents. But we found one here tonight in Elat Suman, otherwise known as the Kicker, 22 years of age, training out of PK Sanjay Muay Thai Gym, originally from Israel, and stands at 186 centimeters tall. 41 fights with 32 victories, only eight losses. One of them to Deng Nung here at Thai Fight. And one draw. And now introducing his opponent, making his Thai fight debut in the black corner. He goes by the name of Son Kao, Shaw Ha Payak. His real name is Tachachai Pitsuam. He's 30 years of age, 180 centimeters tall from Roy Et in the Isan region of Thailand. He's had a total of 183 fights, 131 victories, 50 losses, and two draws. Makes me wonder if Son Kao's ever fought Kachi before. I want to say no, but <laughs> anything could happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, that's a good point. Elad has. Yes. Elad has. And he's well aware. You know, 
going the distance with Denglin is no easy feat, so he's definitely got something about him. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of uh, Son Kao right now. He's, you know, it, it must be a lot of pressure. You got, you're making your Thai fight debut now, and you have a lot to prove. Nice snap in, right hands there from Eli. Yes, indeed he does. And also, we always say this about the Thai fighters coming out of the stadiums, where it, there's a slow build up over those five rounds, and coming into this lightning fast Thai fight setup where you've got a from the bell go all out. And if you cannot do it, you've got to learn to do it. Otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, because maybe, uh, I'm not sure, but I haven't seen Son Kao actually fight three round one time before. Maybe he has. I think he's fought a super chat before. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think he's adapted to it just yet. And today he's going to have to adapt very fast because Eli Suman is a very experienced fighter and he fights out of a very good gym, you know, one of the best in the world. Good. Absolutely. And there you can see the QR code is just going to have to screen now again. If you see it again, you can use that QR code to join the Thai Fight Fan Club. They can have all sorts of prizes if you do join. Nice elbow there from Son Kao. Oh, look what he had though! What a reply from Eli Suman. We actually saw him backstage, he looked very relaxed. His headphones in, dancing, getting that footwork going. Yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, for those that don't know, sometimes there's a big party in the back, and uh, you gotta, you got to say, Eli Suman was the life of the party. He really was. <laughs> And Yuli Alves. Yeah, well, she was the life of the solo party in the ring. Absolutely. And the ring. Yeah. <laughs> right hand there from Songao. Right low kick from Ilaj Suman. Songao trying to stalk Suman. He's so tall, isn't he? Oh, nice right hand there again from Suman. Looking very composed. Yeah, I mean, Suman has already fought the, probably one of the best at Katsha, at Boy Katsha. Yes, at, at, like, the best, I like would say. <laughs> so, one of yeah. the most devastating finishes in the history of Boy Thai Katsha. Exactly, and then now he's coming come to Son Kao. I mean, he probably doesn't believe Son Kao belongs in the same ring as him. Which is quite a statement. <laughs> yeah. But he's moving back quite a lot, Son Kao oh, moving forward. Son Kao walks into that right hand. Suman doing well in this opening round. Yeah, it's the last place you want to be, clinching up with Son Kao, because Son Kao is a clinch at knee fighter. That's why you see him moving forward a lot, trying to get into the clinch, and that's just that. The outside kick from Suman, but a nice midsection kick there from the tie. Big right hand there from Son Kao as he yeah. takes Eli to the ropes. I think he was just able to deflect that off the arm. Okay, big. Defensive work there from Suma, then walks into a right hand, I think. I think that was an elbow, actually. Was it? The one I counted. Oh, that's like double there from Song Kao. That was sneaky. Beautiful time, end of round one. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, how can you score that one? of that opening round. Good overhand right there from Song Gao. Both fighters looking for elbows. Neither connecting. It was a close round. You know, it's definitely an argument that Suman took that one and delivered some good knees as we're seeing here in those highlights. Not just some good knees, he delivered some good hands as, as well. And um... another question that you have to ask, did Song Gao do enough to take the round? 
me, me neither. It's a very hard run to score, but I I, I just got to give it to Elad Su Suman. I thought he just did enough to win that one. And big right hand to start things off from Elad Suman. And a right low kick as well. And another right hand there from the man from Israel. Good solid knee there from Suman. He's taking it to Son Kao in the second round. Yeah, he definitely needs to. I mean, Son Kao, we said the clinch a knee fight. And Elad Suman seems determined that he wants to fight the exact same way against Son Kao. Son Kao's got to be really careful here. Good knee to the midsection there by the time. Looking for the elbow in the clinch. Really nice technique there from Song Kao. And that clinch and a nice left knee as well there from the Thai fighter. Yeah, I'm not sure the viewers at home saw, but during the break, Aaron, um, Song Kao's quarter told him that he needs to throw more elbows, so let's see if he does that. We've seen some already early on, but he, I think he's more determined to throw those knees. Once again, the beautiful flying knee coming in from Song Kao. There's that left elbow from Song Kao. Someone's got to be careful with them. The way it started, it seems like it's on Kao's round right now. People need out the middle though from Eli Suman. Eli Suman is still determined to, to face a clinch and deep fighter in the clinch, and I'm not sure why. Yeah, Suman's tying him up. He's not scored, he's not doing anything with him, whereas Son Kao is connecting with elbows and knees like this. Oh! Shot him right out there! Son Kao on the left! Did he go down? The referee Egyptian knocked me! No, I don't think he went to the ground. I don't think, I don't think his hands touched the ground. I'm amazed with that. I mean, he, he was definitely out of for like maybe a half a second. And a swinging right hand attempt there from Suman. But blocked by Song Kao. Yeah, Suman needs to do more of the same with that. Yeah, he's going to come with that right hand again. He has to do. He tried that just now. Yeah, he is. But I think this time Song Kao was aware that, you know, Eli Suman has some heavy hands and he's going to have to start blocking and he did just that. Looking for the uppercut that time. Very impressive what we see from Eli Suman so far. He looks very determined. Big right hand coming in from Suman. Once again, hoping to catch Son Kao with that. Yeah, I think Son Kao's got his scout, you know, that's what, three or four times that he's thrown that. Suman can do something different now after this break. Not just throw that right hand again. I mean, I'm just surprised that Son Kao managed to stay on his feet and hit his legs completely shut down. Yeah, props for him from that. But not even for half a second. I mean, he just got right back up and took some heavy shots from, from Elad once again. Oh, oh my goodness! He's got the right hand there, connects to Son now as he moved in. How? How in the world does he stay on his feet? That's the second time we've seen oh, it. His eyes closed. He's looking back to the bruise now, Kevin. You know, the doctor's going to take a look at that. I just can't see how this match can keep on going. It's not count. Yeah, the, look, the referee's looking at it. But he's going to let it continue. Yeah, that eye is completely closed now. Wow, another fantastic round from Elat Suman. Look at the pages of the round. Son now has got this. He's going to come back into this fight. But no. Two massive shots from Elat. Probably swung the round in his favor once again. No, it's very hard to give that round to, um, to Son Kao, especially when he got one twice like that. But the only miracle is that he managed to stay on his feet. How? No idea. Your will, your heart. I wonder if we can get a camera on. Yeah, oh, just, yeah you can see it just flips up that eye. It's swollen. It's not shut though. But it's close to being. Fans enjoying this one. And we hope the viewers watching on YouTube around the world are enjoying the fights as much as we are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this Thai Fight Asia YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the chat, feel free to do so. <laughs> Body shot there from Elad to start the round. It's a very impressive flying knee there from uh, Son Kao. We thought oh, he my was goodness, he connected with that right. We thought he was coming back into the fight, but then all of a sudden, you know, these hands coming in from Elad too, but there's nothing Son Kao could do about it except stay on his feet, and he did that. Not sure how. Yeah, that was almost a push, wasn't it? 
have a look at it again from a different angle. Push, but either way, he was stunned. Without a shadow of a doubt. And there was the second one. Oh, my, how did he manage to stay on his feet from that? I don't know. I mean, he was falling, but he was still upright. Oh. I mean, the cut chug is no joke, and uh, Son Cao is finding that out in this fight. So are we saying that Suman is now two rounds up? Yes. Unofficially, by the way, folks, we are not the judges. Oh, good shot of the eye. Also coming from the nose of Song Gao, he has been in an absolute war here tonight. And we've still got our remaining round to go. Oh, coming right hand once again, of course. Coming in from Elad Suman. You know, when it comes to a Moi Kao fighter or a Pinch and fighter, they always say that Moi Kao fighters need to take some to give some back. And uh, I gotta say, Song Gao has taken a lot and hasn't given enough back. Right hand from Song Gao, good outside kick there from Suman. You gotta love some kind of determination to keep on moving forward. He has a lot of success with those knees. Yeah, those knees are doing well in this third round, to be honest. Suman doesn't really have an answer for them. He's taking deep breaths because of the knee strikes. He's looking for that right hand again. You know, it seemed like Son Kao started off this match uh, fighting a completely different style from what he's used to, but now, in this third and final round, he's gone back to what he's used to. He is a clinch and knee fighter, and that's why he's moving forward right now. That's why he's trying to clinch up against Elad Suman right now, and it seems to be working. But he's got to be careful because when he does move forward, we know that Suman, and he knows there's power in that right hand. So one false head movement. Suman, oh, and the left hand there! I think the whole world knows that there's power, and just like that. Good head movement there from Suman. Yeah, the footwork, the movement is really working for him. Referee taking a close look there. And Sargao, the right hand from Suman. He's looking tired, good strike to the body there. From Sargao, Suman taking deep breaths. The, the doctor's gonna have a look in the eye. Yeah, he's got a... Yes, yes Suman, look, hands on his head, he is exhausted. Order of Suman telling him that he needs to. What's the what's the doctor gonna say here? He's gonna check that eye. He really has. This is dangerous stuff with those car check. He says he's able to continue. How oh, in the world? Wow. Okay. I mean, the, the, the doctor here, Tai Fai, has seen it all. You know, he's a he, yes, he's one of the best true. in the game. And if he says that Son Kao can go on, he can go on. Let's see if Son Kao can deliver some more clubbing blows to the body, because I believe that is his pathway to victory right now. Close to the end of the third and final round. Good body shot there. Another good solid D. And again, from Songao. And again, stepping in knee to Suman. Holding up those right hands again. again. The hands of Suman versus the kicks and the knees of Songao. Just don't think Songao's done enough to earn the fight. Oh, he's got out of the ring right in front of our Thai commentators. And that was a little bit cheeky from Suman. Oh my goodness! That's not, that hasn't happened to be seen not awful out of the ring. Welcome to Thai Fight Son Kao. Well, either way, Son Kao can now not go to WrestleMania. We know that. <laughs> We are two. Did Suman, who we not bring rounds one and two to take that fight, or do you think Songao won any of those rounds? Because I believe he did win the third. Was there a case that he won either round in the first or the second? No, I don't think so. I think Elad Suman took that fight. But two years of age has so much to be proud of. I mean, that performance was unbelievable. Songao was a fighter with much more experience than Elad. That is a fact. However, Elad Suman took it to Songao, and I think. He will get his hand raised at the end of this fight. Still surprised that the referee said he could go on. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like that highlight of the doctor saying he can continue. Or the doctor, <laughs> yeah. Well, Songao's cheering. He thinks he's done enough. Elad Suman thinks he's done enough. How did you score it at home? Because me and Kenny think that he won rounds one and two. And Aaron thought that Eli went to, is going to WrestleMania now. <laughs> Almost landing on Thai Fight Joe's head. And there you see Kun Sung Jin there, Olympic gold medalist. Popcorn and you know what? spraying all over our Thai commentary <laughs> team. I'm glad that wasn't next to us, Kevin. You know what?
You know what I really like? Whenever a fighter seems to fall, fall out of the ring. โดนหนักมากนะเขาจะไม่ปล่อยย้ำในจุดนั้นนะนี่ก็เป็นอีกหนึ่งน้ำใจทางกีฬาโดยเช่นเดียวกันคู่นี้สุดยอดจริงๆและแน่นอนครับว่าคณะกรรมการของเรานะฮะระดับประเทศระดับโลกนะครับเราก็ดูกันทุกเป้าดูกันทุกคะแนนว่าใครเข้ามาเอากันตอนนี้ถึงเวลาประกาศผลแล้วครับมา The winner is คู่นี้นะฮะสุดยอดแห่งความอดทนสุดยอดแห่งการต่อสู้สุดยอดของน้ำใจนักกีฬา Black or White ขาวหรือดำขาวหรือดำขาวขาวหรือดำมีทั้งดำมีทั้งขาวตัวเองขาวหรือดำ black or white the winner ผู้ชนะได้แก่ Ella Suman from Israel ขอแสดงความยินดีให้ครับก็เป็นกระจายผู้ที่พ่ายไปนะโอ้คู่นี้สุดยอดที่จริงสุดยอดครับโอ้โหได้ใจของทุกคนจันทร์นะได้ใจของทุกคนนะฮะแม่ดูครับที่สังเกตแล้วว่าตอนนี้ไม่ว่าจะนกชกชายหรือชาวต่างชาติไปมือทัดเทียมเลยและนี่คือสิ่งที่เราต้องการฮะและแน่นอนความสุขของคนดูคือสิ่งที่สำคัญและนี่คือนักกีฬาที่ทำไปเลยแล้วว่าเขาเข้าใจสู้จริงเพื่อความภาคภูมิใจในมวยไทยและเพื่อคุณผู้ชมที่มาชมนะใช่ครับและนี่คือความมันของมวยค่าเชื่อครับและนี่คือไทยไปครับสังเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงแล้วเดี๋ยวกลับมาเจอครับลุงพ่อแก้วแนวนอสิมาหาท่าเข็มขัดด้วยเฉียงทีนาอกแบบนี้ปรบมือได้กับนักกีฬาของเราด้วยครับทุกคนสุดยอดมากเอาละครับเห็นพลังกายพลังใจมาทุกคู่แบบนี้จะรอเลยครับลุยกันที่คู่ต่อไปกันเลยดีกว่านะครับคู่ต่อไปพบกันที่พิกัดน้ําหนัก78กิโลกรัมครับคนแรกนะครับยอดมวยจากประเทศอังกฤษแดนผู้ดีครับคนนี้เริ่มเรียนมวยไทยมาตั้งแต่10ขวบนะฮะในการออกกำลังกายฉะนั้นเนี่ยฝีมือนะเจนจัดไม่แพ้ผู้ใดแน่นอนครับฉะนั้นต้อนรับกันเลยแล้วกันนะครับคุณสองเมืองผู้ดีโทมัสคาเปนเดอร์Thomas Carpenter, a former IBF Muay Thai World Champion, coming to the ring. We have seen him here on a Thai fight. He's actually fought Deng Nu twice and been stopped twice, unfortunately. But he did show a good showing of himself on those two occasions. And tonight. He'll be taking on another debutant in from Sam Nang from Cambodia. A lot of great fighters have come out of England, of course, over the years. The likes of Liam Harrison, springs to mind, Jonathan Haggerty. Quite a deep history of Muay Thai in England. Seems to really take him to the sport. See if Thomas Carpenter has got the skills here. We are a big fight. It's 78 kilograms. It's a big fight. Yes, Thomas Carpenter. Let's go up on the stage. Mr. Song, the good one. That's right. And the one that we have to meet today. This is the one that I have to meet today. Because the Thai Fire is the one that we have to meet today. The Thai Fire is the one that we have to meet today. The Thai Fire is the one that we have to meet today. The Thai Fire is the one that we have to meet today. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. ค่าเชือกแบบนี้นะครับให้พี่น้องชาวกัมพูชาได้ชมกันด้วยซึ่งแน่นอนว่าเรายินดีและสุขสนานแน่นอนดังนั้นนะครับทางกัมพูชานะครับจึงส่งยอดมวยที่เป็นตำนานของกัมพูชามาลงการแข่งขันในครั้งนี้ด้วยเอาละเดี๋ยวดูว่าเป็นยังไงนะฮะในรุ่นนี้จะสปายกิจกรรมขอปรบมือต้อนรับโคตรมวยกัมปงสปื่อพร้อมสามนาพร้อมสามนาโคตรมวยกัมปงสปื่อประเทศกัมพูชาสลายจุ่มเบย
That tight come there's a call. Well, it's nice. Call the end of his career, yeah. He's fought obviously a lot of times in Cambodia, but probably never on the stage like this here at Thai Fight. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, well, very beautiful dude, for, first of all. But at the same time, I mean, from some time, I mean, people have been looking forward to this debut for a very long time, as, as I mentioned earlier. And I think he can do just that. He's very dangerous with his hands. He's very dangerous with his elbows. He's got a lot of power. So let's see what he can do here tonight. Seems like there's a lot of Cambodians in the crowd as well. What is there isn't, you know? I mean, Beryl has their fans, the Cambodians always have their fans. And a lot of Thai people as well, definitely. Well, representing the Thai fight team with the black shorts on, Ron Sun Nai from Cambodia. I think I've seen Prom Sam Nang defeat three people in one night before. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's happened, so keep your eyes on your screens. It was a hotel just next to us. You might have just seen a few people sneaking out of their bedroom windows watching Thai <laughs> fight. What a view they've got. Surely not better than ours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Sixth bout of, he's added some ink since I've last seen him. There we go, <laughs> in the white corner, Thomas Carpenter. Thomas Richard Carpenter, to be exact. 29 years of age from Portsmouth in England. Stands at 186 centimeters. Has a professional record of 88 fights with 69 victories. 17 losses and two draws. He was the IBF Muay Thai World Champion in 2018. And now introducing his opponent from Cambodia, Prom Samnang. Prom Samnang, he's 38 years of age from Gampong Spur province. He's 183 centimeters tall, as we said earlier, 38 years of age and has a total of 155 fights, 140 victories, 12 losses and 3 draws. You can imagine all the Cambodians watching this match right now, or at least most. Well, I hope they're watching on Thai Fight Asia. <laughs> the best place to watch Thai Fight. A lot of noise around the ring for this one, it seems. Um, Sam Nang obviously have some sort of cult following. And I believe this is also the heaviest bout we have here tonight. They have both weighed in at 78 kilos. Um, Sam Nang in the black shorts from Cambodia. Thomas Carpenter in the white shorts from England. This matchup, like Kevin said, heaviest of the evening at 68 kgs. 78 Sorry, kgs. 78 kgs. Yeah, just 10 kgs out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, round one. I don't think Thomas Kovacar has made 70, uh, 68 kgs for a very long time. 67 kgs, one, k, one kg more due to the haircut, I think. <laughs> right, it's a body there from the Cambodian, Sam Nang. Yeah, you know, Thomas Kovacar has a lot to prove here in the Thai fight ring. As you said earlier, he's fought here twice and hasn't had a, bit, hasn't had a victory yet. So maybe he'll get one here tonight, but Prom Sam Nang, he's, a, he's going to be a very difficult opponent. We can already see from the power of those kicks. Well, Thomas Carpenter covering up right now. He's moving around the ring. Prom Sam Nang firing off at will. Carpenter hasn't, fought, hasn't thrown anything yet. Yeah, he's just still waiting for the right opening, and there it is. Right kicks to the body there from the English fighter. With a right kick there from Prom Sam Nang. Carpenter holding on, trying to smother Prom Sam Nang. You know, from what we see from Carpenter so far, the composure just isn't there yet. When Prom Sam Nang throws anything, he seems to not just cover up, you know, he, he's all over the place. The flying knee there from the Cambodian again. Carpenter trying to keep a hold of Sam Nang. Oh, swinging left hand there. That's better from Carpenter. Yeah, much better. I mean, he needs to start attacking. He can't just keep on taking these shots or try to evade shots coming from Prompton now. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't exactly get off the ground there. <laughs> Spinning back low kick. That's not going to win you 100,000 baht. 
true, but it might win you the funds. <laughs> Absolutely. Good luck on there from, from some man. And again. Trying to clinch up now, Coppenter. We've seen him in the clinch early on today, but he didn't do anything. And that was it. The shot to the body, and he's found his gun shot. And that is it. That is it. Yeah, it's all over. It's a win for Ram Samman, the man from Cambodia, making his Thai fight debut. Oh, don't go back to the top. 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 ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
วรุจิระบุฉลาบร้ายแห่งมือชมประเทศไทยตาพีจีทีบอลเวชิรับบอลพีจีทีอ่ะโค้ชในจุดสองของไทยแลนด์ซิตี้ทางลานนี่เป็นการทำงานที่สุดในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ในการแข่งขันในโลกในทางการแล้วก็ใน25 years of age, 178 centimeters tall, from Pattaya City, Thailand. He's had a total of 164 fights, 14 losses, and one draw. Now introducing his opponent from Thailand in the black corner, he goes by the name of Bata Thaw Varujat Wong. His real name is Wan Chalam Phang Dang Khang. 25 years of age, 174 centimeters tall from Pattaya City, Thailand. He's had a total of 164 fights, 164 fights, 164 victories, 29 losses, and one draw. You know, when you're out and about in Pattaya, do you ever stumble across PTT or perhaps his Mu Ping stall? I was about to get to the Mu Ping actually. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He sells、um, fried pork on a stick. I think that's the best way to to say it in English. Delicious, absolutely delicious, and、uh, that's what he runs right now. But、uh, for those who are wondering, why is he named PTT? Well, it's actually from Bartata, which is,、um, in fact,、um, a gas company, in fact, a petroleum company. And his parents they run a propane shop, so that's where the PTT came from. Penultimate bout of the evening: Thailand taking on Brazil. Adrio, Adriano Oliveira with a one kg weight advantage. And PTT Portoto for Rujira Wong, weighing in at 68 kgs. Just realised I made I made a mess of、uh, PTT's real name, so let's get it right right here. One Chalam <laughs> Fang Dan Glam. There we go. Left hook with right hand there from PTT, and again there's that right hand, and again another right hand there, piecing those right hands together. Left and right, and down goes Oliveira. But no count. Oliveira got right back on his feet. Stumbling! Oh, he doesn't know where he is right now. I don't think he knows where he is.、The、referee's really got to check
right is Mookie. PTT does it again here at Tag Fight. Another super impressive performance from the man from Pattaya. Very impressive performance there from Pot Top over Gerard Bond. I mean, and it's just a Pot Top performance that we're used to seeing. Yeah, it really is. If he doesn't fight like that, it's not Pot Top, it's an imposter. Seriously has Venom in those hands. And props to Venom Muay Thai Jim, who have turned a brawling Muay Thai fighter into a composed boxer. The power that he possessed naturally. Right hand just above the ears, the equilibrium buster. Right hand right on the jaw that time. Oliveira goes down. There you can see it's a combination strike. Up the good right hand. It's bread and butter for that man for PTT. Yeah, that's why I love our PTT style. He never goes for single shots. He always puts a combination together and it always seems to work well. You can see there, he puts in the jab. Oh. Oliveira thinks he's blocking the jab, but instead he's only going to receive a right hand from PTT. I think this was the, the final shot that did it. Yeah, he just composed himself there. One little step and then that right hand. You know, I believe he was told, you know, well, Adriano Oliveira, you know, you're going to watch out for that right hand. But easier said than done, as you saw just now. PTC is one of those fighters as well who doesn't mind moving in to take one. Doesn't care at all. He only paid the price for it once, but... Uh... Yes, just once. But he's so confident in his ability. And evidently right as well. Another win for PTT. Super impressive. Boys and girls, let's get the finish. Badata Waruji Lewo from Thailand. Yidi kahusin na kap na kap. Pen kapang chay kap puti Thai pay. Salam lai hang mung shon jama long than ke. Lai ka ting ting na ha. Tadi. มีใครจะมาปราบเขาลงได้หรือไม่ติดตามกันตลอดปีนี้กับไทยไฟครับแน่นอนครับแล้วก็มาเจอครับพ่อรู้โอ้โหเปลี่ยนทรงของลูกเฉดสีไปเดียวนะปอตทวรุจิระวงครับรับค่าเก็บขัดเรียบร้อยคว้าเงินรางวัลทุกๆการแข่งขันจริงๆนะฮะสมแล้วครับนี่หนึ่งคนที่นอกยกหนึ่งมากที่สุดเลยครับส่งเสียงได้ให้กับปอตทด้วยครับและคนแรกนะครับสำหรับคู่สุดท้ายนะครับมีการต่อน้ำหนักให้กัน1 2กิโลกรัมนะครับยอดมวยจากประเทศอังกฤษครับเจ้าของสไตล์เดินเตะเจาะยางและคว้างกระจกคว้างกระจกก็คือเหมือนเหวี่ยงหมัดอย่างนี้นะครับขอเสียงต้อนรับ The Big Year Cody b e n d e r Cody b e n d e r The Big Year ประเทศอังกฤษที่ว่าจะไปทางมวยไทยที่เขาบอกเราในบ้านสถานที่ที่เขาได้รับการแข่งขันเมื่อ2เดือนก่อนในที่นี้ที่เขาได้รับการแข่งขันที่มอนซูนจิมที่เขาเรียกว่าที่ทางไอร์แลนด์และสเตปปี้จากที่นี่ที่เขาได้รับการแข่งขันที่20คนบนพื้นที่ที่มีความสวยงามที่Here at the beautiful Sarabari, and of course with thousands of people watching live on YouTube, it's quite the step up. But not the big bear, as his tattoo would indicate that he is not. It's actually a step. เอาละครับมาแล้วนะครับโคลีเบนดอนนะฮะแต่ก่อนจะแบบลุยกันคู่สุดท้ายนะขึ้นเวทีแล้วก่อนจะไปเจอตัวละครสุดท้ายของเราแป๊บเดียวแป๊บเดียวตรงนี้นะครับอันนี้ก็เป็นตัวละครสุดท้ายเหมือนกันครับคนเดียวเพราะถือว่าเป็นสิ่งที่สําคัญเลยนะฮะตอนนี้เรามีการแลนดอมจากผู้ที่เป็นไทยไฟแฟนคลับเรียบร้อยแล้วดังนั้นจึงต้องรีบประกาศ1คนนะครับในตอนนี้เข้าวินมาคนแรกจะให้ไปกรุงโรมประเทศอิตาลีพร้อมกับพวกเรานะเมื่อกี้เดือนเมษายนนะครับคิวอาร์โค้ดหรือว่าจดทะเบียนเป็นไทยไฟแฟนคลับแล้วบ้างครับขอเสียงหน่อยตรงนี้ครับ
นี่นะคุณอาจจะเป็นอะไรไหมฮะนี้เราประกาศกันจริงจังตรงนี้เลยนะฮะและทั่วประเทศนะฮะนี่คือเมื่อกี้ที่ขึ้นจอไปด้วยใครสมัครนะไทยไม้บังครับคุณมีลุ้นไปอิตาลีกับเรานะครับมาเรียวันคุณให้ดีเลยเพราะเดี๋ยวทีมงานจะติดต่อกลับไปนะครับขอยินดีด้วยกับคุณบงกดรัฐอวมเช็คนะครับยินดีด้วยนะฮะเบอร์โทรศัพท์0 6 3 8 0ขอไปนะครับ0 6 3 8 6 0 0ตืดตืดนะครับเดี๋ยวทีมงานติดต่อกับไปคุณพงกดรักนะครับคุณพงกดรักยินดีด้วยอยู่ที่นี่หรือเปล่าหรืออยู่ที่ไหนในประเทศไทยนะครับแต่ขอแสดงความยินดีด้วยเมษานี้คุณได้ไปดูไทยไปติดขอบสนามกับเราที่อิตาลีครับทีมงานติดต่อไปนะว่าวันไหนอะไรไงกี่โมงเตรียมตัวทำพาสปอร์ตอะไรไว้เรียบร้อยนะครับเดี๋ยวไปเจอกันที่นั่นนะครับยินดีด้วยครับอ่าละครับแน่นอนครับโอ้โหอ่ะมีหลายคู่ต่อหลายคู่นะฮะนี่คือความผูกพันของไทยไฟครับมวยต่อยกันนะครับรวมถึงนักมวยบางคนยังมาเป็นพี่เลี้ยงนักมวยเลยคุณเห็นไหมวันนี้พี่โอ๋สุดสาครก็มาปมมือให้สุดสาครสอนกินมีนะฮะนี่ฮะวันนี้ลุกทำลุกกันมาก็ยังไม่จับครับก็ยังไม่จับฮะเป็นเทรนเดอร์ให้กับน้องๆแล้วนะครับใช่วันนี้ก็เมื่อกี้ก็มาเชียร์นะฮะแต่ละคนเลยเก่งมากๆนี่นะฮะอยู่ตรงนี้ก็อยู่นี่นะฮะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเต็มขอบคุณมากๆครับพี่นะฮะตอนนี้เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวฝึกเขาเรียกอะไรทำสมาธิก่อนเพราะต้องลุยต่อใช่เมื่อกี้ก็มาดูแลตอนนี้ก็เขามาดูแลเต็งหนึ่งอยู่แล้วก็ต่อช่วยกันช่วยกันพี่น้องไฮไฟนะครับมาวันนี้หนึ่งคนที่ทุกคนรอคอยนะครับนี่คือราชันแห่งจอมน็อกเอาว่าแล้วน็อกเอาเป็นว่าเล่นจริงๆวันนี้ทําได้อีกหรือไม่นะครับกับพลังใหม่อิสุดีแม็กซ์เบชิกาทายานต่อให้โลกตามคนคนนี้ส่งเสียงแรงดังให้กับมังกรปากน้ำพูเต็งหนึ่งสินเจสอาลุงสินเจสายลุงมังกรปานน้ำโผล่ประเทศไทย Here he is the knockout artist of Thai fight Deng Nung Sin Jae Sai r u n g from a Nakhon Sawan province in the central part of Thailand and you bet he's going to be looking for another knockout here tonight as he always is bit of a light weight as well for Deng Nung usually Competing at 77, 78, 76 is a very nice w e i g h t to see him at. I wonder if that power remains, which I'm sure it does. Corey Belden actually does actually have a two kilogram weight advantage over Deng Nung. Is that even the odds? That's right, Deng Nung weighted at 76 kilos and Corey Belden weighted at 78. Will that make a difference? But uh, so far, it really hasn't throughout the whole uh, 2022. I'll go for that as well. Since returning to Thai fight after he had issues with his gym, he's come back and proved to the world that he's still an absolute assassin. Deng Nung now training in at Fairtex Gym. He's looking tremendous. The main event of Thai fight has arrived. Again, we really do appreciate all the views. On the new Thai Fight page, Thai Fight Asia. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share, and of course leave a comment. And we will return in two weeks' time at Thai Fight Atantani. As of now, it's main event time. Corey Belden, otherwise known as the Big Deer, slash the Stack in the white corner. 27 years of age, originally from Coventry in England. He stands at 186 centimeters tall, weighed in at 78 kilograms, has a professional record of 39 fights with 26 wins, 11 losses, and two draws. And like I said previously, trains out of Bonsu Gym in Koh Tao, Thailand. And now introducing his opponent. There he is on your screens. Deng Nung Sitje Sai Rung. His real name is Ekapan s o m b u n s a p He's 187 meters tall, 30 years of age from the k o n s a w a n province. Has a total of 112 fights, 94 victories, 14 losses, and four draws. Teng Lin is a multiple-time Thai fight champion, also a multiple-time Cup c h champion. He is also the King's Cup champion. And very importantly, the Super Cup Super Fight champion as well. You notice whenever Sanchai is not fighting in the main event, it's always going to be t e n g n u n that takes his place. Yeah, our Kitty is not here. 
Yeah, Kitty's not here either. <laughs> but of course, when we're in uh, Nakonso One Province, which is Dingman's hometown, he was at the main event, yes. not, not Sanchai. Yeah. Big show respect there from the fight. And let's not forget, like I said, in two weeks' time, we have got another tie fight. So perhaps we'll see Sanchai and Kitty then. Here we go. What an incredible event it has been. Main event time in the black corner from Thailand. Deng Nung Sit Jai Sai Rong. And in the white corner from England by way of Gok Tao, Corey Belden. Corey Belden, as you said earlier, he's more of an MMA fighter. Mm, he did. But it would be quite interesting to see if he can shock the world tonight. Two things we learned about Corey Belden backstage. Former MMA fighter, and if he sees Sanjay, he gets googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but who doesn't? That's I mean, true. I remember my first time here in Taipei and seeing Sanjay right in front of me. I had to take a photo. Oh, 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 goodness! That head kick early on from Tenny, it did not take long at all. Can he get out? There's no way. There's no way. Uh, he's up. He's up and he wants to fight. Um, it shows a lot of heart, but. Oh. Including the boss of Thai Fight. Well, boys and girls, what an absolutely fantastic, amazing Thai Fight we've just experienced. Let's get confirmation. We'll see you again on the next episode of Thai Fight. Two weeks time. And we'll see you next time at Thai Fight. Thank you very much. ตอนนี้ไปแล้วนะครับตอนนี้ลิมิเต็ดอีดิชั่นจริงๆนะเข็มขัดลงเพราะรวยมอบให้กับนักมวยที่ชนะวันนี้เท่านั้นนะมีแ